Hello and welcome back to RBMON tutorial. Today, we will guide you through all of the data sections. Let's first start with creating project sites. On the main menu, click Data. It will open the Sites section. Here, click on the plus button. Then, fill up your site's information. Once the pin appears, you can switch between map views. And then, you can check your pin location using Zoom. Click Save to create your site and repeat these steps in order to add more. On Sites, you can always click on each site to edit its information. Also, you can link a permanent recorder by using the created token or download it for a later use or just simply revoke the token. Finally, in this section, you can always remove any site. Now, we will be adding the species and the soundscape classes we will study. On the left menu, click Species. Here, press the plus button, and on the search box, type in your species name. Select it, and then choose a sound type from the drop-down menu. Click Select to add it to the project species list. If your species is not listed, on the search box, type Unknown. And select one of the number of species. Then, choose the sound type from the drop-down menu. Click Select to add it. In this section, you can always click on any of your species to remove it. On the left menu, click Soundscape Composition Classes. Then, add your class under your preferred category by typing it. Let's say Thunder. And click on the plus button. Finally, you can always click on the class to remove it. Now, we will be uploading the recordings we want to analyze. On the left menu, click Uploads. Here, Click the pencil icon to add the information of all the recordings for a specific site. Then click Save and Close. Go to Add Files. Select your recordings. And then hit Start to upload them. You can always upload multiple sites by opening different tabs. In this case, we show you that you can drag and drop all of your recordings. As the other example, hit Start to upload them. Now, let's create a playlist. On the Sites section, you can always check the number of recordings. If all of them are uploaded, you're ready for a playlist creation. On the left menu, click Recordings. Here, click Filters and select among the different filter options, from Sites, Date and Time, and others, for example. Let's pick Nocturnal Hours. Click Apply Filters, and then click on the Playlist icon. Name your playlist, and save it. In this section, you can also export the filtered recordings as an Excel spreadsheet. Go to Export, then select the field you want to include, and click Export Data. Once you're in Excel, you can review your playlist data. Back on the Recording section, you can always remove any of your uploaded recordings. Now, let's check the Training Sets view. On the left menu, click Training Sets. Here, you will check the previously selected regions of interest, or shortly, ROI. We will talk about them in much more detail on the next tutorial. You can click on the Detail View icon to amplify each ROI or simply switch to the Gallery View. ROI information can also be downloaded as an Excel spreadsheet. In addition, 
You can edit a training set's name by clicking on it, go to the pencil icon, edit the information, click save or cancel. Also, you can remove a training set or any ROI by clicking the red X icon. Now, let's merge different playlists. On the left menu, click Playlist. Here, you can edit the name of any playlist by clicking on the pencil icon. If you change it, click Save and Close. In this case, I didn't, so I hit Close. The main feature of this section is the Combine Playlists icon. Select the operation and then the playlist that you want to fuse. Assign a name to the new playlist and then click Combine Playlists. In this section, you can always delete a playlist. Remember that you can always find more tips by downloading the Arbimon user manual. Check the link in the description. Once you're done, join us again in the next Arbimon tutorial.